Good morning and welcome to Hope for the Family with Evangelist Boy Antonia Eden. God is good all the time. We bless God for keeping us alive to see this day which He has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Shouts of victory and rejoicing are heard all the time in the tent of the righteous. We bless God for this beautiful Good Friday. As we meditate upon the goodness of God, reflect on His words and what God did for us on this day. Let us be filled with thanksgiving as we come before God to appreciate Him for His faithfulness. That our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ died for us. That God sent His only one and begotten Son to die for us while we are all sinners. It wasn't because of anything that we did right. We did everything wrong. We strayed away from the presence of God. But the love of God stirred His heart to send Jesus Christ to die for us while we are all sinners. That's why we are rejoicing that you cannot become righteous with God through our own efforts or through obeying the law. But God Himself has made us righteous with Him. The word that God has spoken over us has made us clean. Today we come before God with cleansed consciences. Consciences that have been cleansed with the blood of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus has blotted away all our sins. That today we can come before God to call him our Father, he is our Father, he has given us everything in Jesus Christ. We believe that Jesus Christ is our living Lord and Savior, the rock of our salvation, our high priest, who is in the heavenly sanctuary above, seated at the right hand of God the Father, where God highly exalted him to be. Hallelujah, amen. Because he was obedient to the will of God. He did not contend with God in any way. He offered himself before God. He saw the suffering that was ahead of him. And he understood the very purpose for which he came to this world. He came for us. The life that we are living today is the life of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Who took our sinful lives upon himself. So that we might have life in this world. A abundant life in this world. And eternal, eternal life in God's kingdom. Today we are the children of God. We can come into the most holy place to enjoy fellowship with God, with the Son and with the Spirit of God. Because God has given us this direct entrance through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who died for us. Today let us give God a clap of a clap of Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. For his goodness to us, for his love, for everything we have in Jesus Christ, through whom we can do all things. Today our heads are lifted high because God himself is the glory and the lifter up of our heads. We should go about our businesses with the confidence that we have that we are the children of God that we will present him in this world. Let us begin to testify about the goodness of God to the world around us. There are so many outside there in the world that have not received the salvation of Jesus Christ. They belong to the body of Christ. We are the children of God, for whom Jesus Christ died. But they are still being held down by the forces of darkness of this world, that they do not understand what God has done for them. It is our responsibility as the children of God to go out to begin to testify about the goodness of God to the world. That God has given us salvation in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And there's no other way, no other way through which men may come to God except through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Glory, hallelujah, amen. The life that we live is the life of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If someone gave us the life that we have today and took our sinful and wretched life upon himself, let us live our life honorably. Doing good deeds as we submit ourselves to God to use as instrument of righteousness. We are the children of God. If the Spirit of God dwells inside of us, we must continue to do good deeds in this world. Amen. Because greater is the Spirit that dwells in us than the Spirit that dwells in the world. Our Spirit is the Spirit of holiness. Our God is holy and said we must be holy unto Him. As we celebrate Jesus Christ today, the rock of our salvation, as we celebrate our salvation today, too, that we are the children of God, hands of salvation, let us remind ourselves of who we are and what we have inside of us and how God wants us to live in this world. Today, let us begin to proclaim the goodness of God. 
If there is sin in us, let us repent and ask God to have mercy on us. None of us can deceive God. We may deceive ourselves. We may deceive the people around us. But if we know that we have one hand in the body of Christ and one hand in, a, in the occult, occult, today let us ask God to deliver us from that evil. Because there is no way that we inherit God's kingdom if we are not truly and pure, purely the children of God. Totally the children of God. There's no way. Because we are these coffers that the Apostle Paul referred to. That coffers have come amongst us. When one hand is inside the body of Christ and one hand is outside in any court outside there doing evil deeds. Letting the spirit of magic to lead us. We cannot truly really be the children of God. Today, let us reflect on our self-examination. What am I doing? Who am I? Am I truly a child of God? Am I living the life that Jesus Christ has called me unto? Jesus Christ who gave me his life. Am I deceiving, my, deceiving myself in the community of God's children? Pretending to be a child of God, whereas I'm so far from God. So far from God because of the evil thing I do every day. Today, let us come before God and ask for forgiveness as we plead the blood of Jesus over us again. That precious blood of Jesus that has given us life, that has cleansed us from all our sins. For our Lord Jesus Christ said that the words that he has spoken over us has made us clean. That's from the book of the Gospel according to John chapter 15 verse 3. We have been cleansed from all our sins. May we hold on to the truth this day and begin to run our races on the course that God has laid for each one of us. There is a way that must lead to salvation. We cannot embrace every false teaching and everything we hear outside there and say that we are the children of God. If we are the children of God, we must submit totally to him. To use us as instrument of righteousness. God has invested so much in our spiritual growth. He has given each of us a measure of faith. There are treasures, he has laid treasures inside of us. He has given us the promise Holy Spirit. If the spirit of goodness and mercy dwells inside of us, there's no way we can believe, belong to any other cause that is contrary to the will of God. Today we have come before this girl to, to say, Father, have mercy. Forgive us, for your word says, if your people who are called by your names, we humble themselves before you and repent of all their sins, that you will hear our cry for help, that you will deliver us, you will heal our lands, that, that we will be fruitful, O Lord God, we eat, O Lord God, of the fruit of the harvest of the earth. Jehovah God, we have come before you. You have promised that the plagues, O Lord God, will not come near our dwellings. Because you are our God. We have seen that falling short of your glory in so many ways. We are brought to this reproach, Lord God, our salvation so many times, causing reproach to fall upon us and our families. Because of the things we have done with our own hands, because of the things we have said, especially when we stray away from you. Father, we have come back to you this day. Have mercy, have mercy. We plead the blood of Jesus. We ask for forgiveness. Help us, the Spirit of the living God, to continue to live according to the will of God, so that everything concerning us, we give God pleasure in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift up before you this day our families and nations. We lift up before you, O Lord God, our children, O Lord God. We lift everyone to you today. Jehovah God, have mercy. Help us. We plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Your blood has been shed, O Lord God, we ask for mercy in the name of Jesus. You are a God who forgives all our sins. You are a God who teaches sinners the way they should walk on. Father, unto you we have come today. Father, hear our cry for mercy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have not come in vain. We know that you are, you are still God, O Lord God, that blesses your children, that forgives all our sins. Every day you flood, flood us with benefits. Father, we bless you. Receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. You are our God. You are our God. Thank you, God, for forgiving us of all our sins. Thank you, God, 
for everything you have done for us in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for refreshing us. Thank you for seizing, O Lord God, of, of harvest, O Lord God, of great harvest, O Lord God, of your goodness, of your faithfulness in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you for healing in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our Lord God Almighty, as you are forgiving us, we also pray that you help us to forgive everyone that has sinned against us. Because mercy without judgment will be shown to everyone who refuses to forgive another. Father, we pray this day that we'll, you enable us to lay down at the feet of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Every bitterness, unforgiveness, minus every evil, uh, every evil thought against another in the name of Jesus. Father, have your way in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We invite the Holy Spirit to help us this day. To continue to remind us throughout this day what Jesus Christ has done for us and what you expect of each one of us. May the spirit of revelation fall on us today in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Where we are discouraged, we ask for encouragement. Where we are struggling, we pray, Lord God, that your spirit will strengthen us in the name of Jesus. We help us to overcome the challenges of life in Jesus' mighty name. For those who are sick today, we ask for perfect healing in the name of Jesus. Those who are mourning, Jehovah God, we ask for comfort, uh, to your spirit to release comfort and consolation to each one of them in the name of Jesus. Father, whatever our problems are today, we believe that we have come to you, that you have heard us, you and you have forgiven us, you have helped us, so Lord God, because you are our helper in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Spirit of the living God, we have prayed the way we know how to pray. We may not have prayed according to the will of God. Today we pray that you take over this prayer. Pray for us. Pray for us in grants which God the Father understands. Pray for us. Help us that the will of God be done in our lives here on earth as it is in heaven. That each of us will be equipped with the spiritual knowledge to continue to do the will of God in this world. In the name of Jesus. That we go out to begin to testify about the goodness of God to the world around us. In the name of Jesus. May we lift up I, the banner of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Spirit of the living God, we surrender to you. Lead us, help us in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we bless you. We thank you for your faithful children that have gone out to the nations to begin to preach this word. We thank you, Lord God. We come against every plan of the wicked to hinder the good works of this ones. Jehovah God, we lift them up before you this day. We pray for empowerment in the name of Jesus. We encourage me for each one of them. We pray that, that, that those that have been heard, oh Lord God, catch it this day, that it will be released in the name of Jesus. That the captives will see your mighty power at work in their lives in Jesus' mighty name. That signs, miraculous works, oh Lord God, and wonders, oh Lord God, we are copying your word wherever it goes in the world in the name of Jesus. You are God. You have gone ahead of us. Father, we thank you. We bless you. You are God. Your counsel will prevail all this against every work of darkness. Father, we bless your holy name. You are our Father. There is no other God as day. We thank you, God. We have received your testimony that you have given us salvation in Jesus Christ. We thank you, our Father, that loves us so much. Father, unto you we have come this day. Father, we bless you. You are God and God alone. Receive all the praise. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. If God has been good to you, testify about the goodness of God to people around you. Because faith comes by hearing, and it is by hearing the word of God. Amen. Just as that comes by hearing the negative things that people have to tell us. When we pay attention to those negative things, then doubt starts creeping into our hearts, into our minds, to make us to become confused. Amen. We must keep away from every false teacher. Anything we hear outside, let us go back and study the word of God. Look at it. If it is the word of God, if it's not the word of God, reject it. God has given us the ability to make sound judgment. We can, in the name of Jesus. When we allow the Spirit of God to lead us, when we pay attention to the voice of the Spirit, amen. There are so many sounds around us, distracting us. Wanting us to be unfocused. Amen. But each time we are, must redirect ourselves to the very purpose for which God created us. We must continue on that path that God has laid for us. There's a purpose for us to be here in this world. 
We are mighty in the hands of God to pull down every stronghold of the enemy. Let us be busy about doing the Lord's way. It is why it is here today that we can work for the Lord. Because night will come when no man can work. Our God is mighty. He is God. Every day, He encompasses us around with His holy presence. His eyes go to and fro the universe, looking for people who acknowledge Him as God. Amen. And He will come, He will dwell with them. He will give us long life. He will give us the best of the land in the name of Jesus. He is our God. He is our Lord and portion in the land of the living. Today we are filled with the Spirit of God. Our souls are rejoicing because of the faithfulness of God towards us. Because of what we know we have in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are not afraid of what the wicked will do unto us. Because we know that through Jesus Christ we can do mighty things. We can pull down the stronghold of the wicked. Father, you are highly exalted in our lives. Shouts of victory and rejoicing are heard in the tent of the righteous. In the name of Jesus, it is your word to us, your promise. And we claim it this day. Father, we stand firmly on the foundations you have laid for, foundation you have laid for us, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Who can stand against us when you are with us, when you are for us, in the name of Jesus. You are our God. You refresh us every day. Jehovah God, this day you have set tables before us in the presence of our enemies. We have come to feed on those tables. Father, we bless you. You have anointed our heads with oil this day. You are our God, our living God. You will never fail us. Everything we have comes from you. We bless you, our Father. We lift up our hands to say, Father, receive the praise today in the name of Jesus. You are God and God alone. Glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Glory, hallelujah, amen. God is good all the time. We must continue to testify about the goodness of God to the world around us. Again, faith comes by hearing and it is by hearing the word of God. Glory, hallelujah, amen. May we be attentive to the voice of the Spirit of God this day. Hallelujah, amen. We are going to have a brief session this morning. We are not going to continue with the study of the book of Second Peter today. I want us, I will sing a song then I'm going to refer to the word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from the book of Matthew chapter 26. I want us to meditate on it today in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, amen. The song I'm singing this morning is Jesus keep me near the cross. We pray that our Lord Jesus Christ will keep us near the cross. Yet there's deliverance for our souls. Amen. Let us meditate on the significance of the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ to us. That's what has given us an entrance into God's kingdom. That has made us the children of God, that we have the power of God this day inside of us to do things in the name of Jesus. The cross was an emblem of reproach to the world, but it is an emblem of God's power and the glorious inheritance that we have in Jesus Christ to us in the name of Jesus. The emblem of our salvation. Amen. And that's why we are rejoicing. We are not ashamed of what man will do unto us. We are not ashamed of the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation to us many that we believe in it. But we believe in Jesus Christ. But to those that are perishing, it, it means nothing. To us, it is everything. It is everything to us. It embodies a lot of spiritual significance to us. It is our life. Everything. It's embodies or it was a symbol of our sins our lives on that cross and today we have received a glorious inheritance in jesus christ glory hallelujah hallelujah amen we have every reason to rejoice to be glad to thank god to be at peace with ourselves and with the world around us god has given us his rest he wants us to enter into his rest may we enter into the rest of god this day in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Jesus, keep me near the cross. The United Methodist in um, number three one from the hymn of the hymns, hymns of the United Methodist Church. Glory. It was originally written by Fanny J. Crosby, nineteen twenty to nineteen eighteen twenty to nineteen fifty. Glory, Hallelujah, Amen. Jesus, keep me near the cross. 
There are precious fountains, free to all her healing stream, flows from Calvary's mountain. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. See my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. Near the cross, a trembly soul, love and mercy found me. There the bright and morning star sheds its beams around me. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. See my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. Near the cross, O Lamb of God, bring its sins before me. Help me walk from day to day with its sharp over me in the cross in the cross be my glory ever see my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river near the cross i wash and wait open trust in heaven See, I reach the golden strand just beyond the river. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. See, my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, see my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, see my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river in the cross in the cross be our glory ever see our righteous souls shall find rest beyond the river Hallelujah. Amen. In the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, we be our glory ever. Till our raptured souls shall find rest beyond the river. In that cross, we be our glory ever. Till our raptured souls we find rest beyond the river. Father, we bless you for the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is our glory. We thank you, Lord God, for the life you have given to us in Jesus Christ, the rock of our salvation. In that cross, we be our glory. To our righteous souls, we find rest beyond the river. We bless you, our God. We lift your eye for the things you have done for us. You are God and God alone. There is no other God in sin. We bless you, our living God. Receive the praise today in the name of Jesus. In the cross, in the cross, be her glory ever. See her righteous souls shall find rest beyond the river. Amen. Father Lord, today we enter into your rest. We receive the peace that our Lord Jesus Christ has given to us. Our high priest. We thank you. We thank you, Lord God. We bless you for everything you have done for us. 
that Jesus Christ did not turn his back against us, but he went unto that cross to die for us, that we might have life, abundant life in this world, and eternal life in your kingdom. Father, we bless you that today we are your heads and co heads with Jesus Christ of your kingdom. That's what you have given to us. For you so love the world, O Lord God, that while we are yet sinners, you sent your Son to die for us. We thank you because the blood of Jesus Christ has cleansed us from all unrighteousness. Today we can come before you. There's no condemnation for all who are in Jesus Christ. For that blood has cleansed us, O Lord God. We are new creatures in you. Father, we bless you. Receive the price today in the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Bless the seed that comes in the name of the Lord. O Zina in the eyes. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. O Zina to our risen Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. For the grace did not owe you cutting. For God re resurrected you from the grave as it promised. When we die, the grave will not all us cutting. We'll be resurrected in the name of Jesus. For why yet we are in this world? We are not in the heavenly in the heavenly realms that we are seated with you, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We know what who we are and what we have in us. Today we have come before you, Father. We say thank you for all you have done for us. We humble ourselves before you. Receive the praise of our God in the name of Jesus. You are God alone. No other God is there. From the rising of the sun to the place it sets, your name is worthy to be praised. In the assemblies of the gods, you are worthy to be feared. You are worthy to be honored, Father. You are God alone. Receive the praise of our God in the name of Jesus. From the rising of the sun unto the place where it sets, thy name, O God, is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun unto the place where it sets, thy name, O Lord, is worthy to be praised. The name of our God is worthy to be praised. The name of our God is worthy to be praised. The name of our God, the name of our God is worthy to be praised. The name of our God, the name of our God is worthy to be praised. I will bless you, God. I will lift up your name on high, my God. I will bless you, God, for the great things you've done for me. I will bless you, God. I will lift up your name on high, my God. I will bless you, God, for the great things you have done. You have been so good. Oh, God, you have been so good. There's no God I see. You are good. Oh, God. You are good. We give you all the praise, our God. You are good. Oh God, you are good. There's no God as thee. You are good. Oh God, you are good. Thank you for our salvation, God. You are good. Ah God. You are good. We will bless you, God. We will lift up your name on high, our God. We will bless you, God, for the great things you've done for us. We will bless you, God. We will lift up your name on high, our God. We will bless you, God, for the great things you have done. You are good. Yes, God, you are good. You have been good to us, O oh Lord. You are good. Yes, God, you are good. Receive all the praise, our God. You are good. 
Yes, God, you are good. Amen. Our God is good. Father, I receive all the praise. You are God. There is no God as thee. You have been good to us all. We bless you. Thank you, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worship. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. If God has been good to you, testify about the goodness of God to the world around you. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we are going to make reference to the word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from Matthew chapter 26. I will read from verse 23. Amen. I want, I want to go back to verse 17. The Lord's Supper. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew chapter 26, verse 17. Glory, hallelujah. On the first day of the feast of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher, says, my appointed time is near. I am going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did that Jesus Christ had directed them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. With the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, I tell you the truth. One of you will betray me. Then they were very sad and began to say to him, one after the other, Surely not I, Lord. Jesus replied, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go just as it is written about him. But who to that man who betrays the Son of Man? It will be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray him, said, Surely not I, rather. Jesus answered, Yes, it is you. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered it to them, saying, Drink for it. Drink from it. All of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on, until that day, when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. While they had sung a, a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Jesus predicts Peter's denial. Then Jesus told them, This very night you will all fall away on account of me. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and all the sheep of the flock will be scattered. Well, after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter replied, Even if all fall away on account of you, I will never. I tell you the truth, Jesus answered, This very night, before the rusted cross, cross, you will disown me three times. Before the rusted cross, you will disown me three times. But Peter declared, even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the other disciples said the same. Guess my name. When Jesus went with his disciples to a place, then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him. And he began to be sorrowful and troubled. 
Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Could you men not keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter, watch and pray, so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away, unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour is near, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Jesus arrested. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived with him, with him was a huge crowd armed with swords and clubs, sent from the high, from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man, arrest him. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus replied, Friend, do what you, what you came for. Then the men stepped forward, seized Jesus, and arrested him. With that, one of Jesus' companions reached for his sword, drew it, and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Put your sword back in its place, Jesus said. For all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Do you think I cannot call on my father and he will at once put at my disposal more than twelve legions of angels? But how then will the scripture be fulfilled that say it must happen in this way? At that time Jesus said to the crowd, Am I leading a rebellion that you have come out with swords and clubs to catch on me? Every day. I sat in the temple courts teaching, and you did not arrest me. But this has all taken place, that the writings of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted in and fled. We stop here this morning in the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We continue to study this tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. To remind ourselves of what God did for us through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He broke bread, he gave it to his disciples and said it was his body that he was given to them to eat. Amen. Each time we break bread, we do it in remembrance of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He took the cup, he said it was the cup of the new covenant, his blood which he was given to them to drink, that they will not drink of it again until he shares it with us in his father's kingdom. He has spoken this way to be hold up to the truth in the name of Jesus. That he gave his life for us so that we might have life. And one day we will be with him again in his father's kingdom to rejoice with him. To celebrate the goodness of God in our lives. He told his disciples and he told the crowd that everything was according to the will of God. What was happening to him. That every day he sat in the temple preaching. That he didn't come out with with, with clubs and swords against me, as against me as if you are coming against someone that is trying to if you, that has caused a rebellion in your midst. I, I've been amongst you, teaching you people, living in peace, doing the things that my father called me to do. Why do you come against me in this way? For are we 
what, what has been written against me be fulfilled if you do not come. If Judas does not send me to you, betray me. But everything is according to the will of God. So that I will go to this cross. Even as I was weak, you saw Jesus Christ that he went three times to ask God to strengthen him. He was weak because he came in the flesh and blood. That's why the fact that he is the son of the living God. He felt everything just the way we feel it today when we pass through trials of persecution. None of us will ever pass through the kind of trial and persecution that Jesus Christ passed through for, for, for us. Amen. He went to the Father to pray. When we are in similar situations, let us remember to pray. And he told his disciples, can't you be awake even to pray for an hour with me? Are we able to stand firmly on the word of God to pray when things are coming against us? When we know, because the word of God has told us that we are in this world but not of this world, and the force of darkness of this world will come against us, can we hold on to the word of God to pray? We have seen the example of Jesus Christ. Our humble Jesus Christ was when he came to this world. Let us in spirit be in us in the name of Jesus. May God help us. In this world, we pass through situations. If we are not careful, we react according to the way the world wants us to react. Things happen every day. But we must go back to where we are, remind ourselves of who we are, that we are the children of God in the name of Jesus. Today, may the words of our Lord Jesus Christ be food to our souls. May we feed on it. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God has given us everything through Jesus Christ. We believe and we believe and we stand on the great promises of God to us. We are more than conquerors. We are the children of God. We are his light in this world. We are the salt of this world. We are his ambassadors. The ones that we take out this gospel of salvation to the nations. We represent God. The spirit of goodness dwells in us. We overcome every hindrance. That the enemy will ever set before us in the name of Jesus. We stand on the word of God and we say we prevail. Because our God prevails in everything. Father, we bless you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord God, because we are fed on your word this day. We are strengthened. We are not saddened this day. We are rejoicing that Jesus Christ went to that cross to die for us. You have given us abundant life. We bless you, God. As we break bread this day, we say, Father, Lord, may we remember Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. As we drink, O Lord God, of his blood today, may we remember what he did for us. Father, we lift up our hands to say you are our God. Receive the praise today. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for his goodness. Praise God for bringing us to the end of our study this morning. Let us give God a clap of praise. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. Be blessed in this day. God loves you. We love you also. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen.